I'm about to tell you why the revolution of AI in healthcare will start with your mouth. And it all starts with something we all do, hopefully, every six months, a visit to your dentist. And while many of you might not like visiting the dentist because you are afraid of needles or have, do not trust the dentist or, like myself, are self-conscious of your flossing behavior, what if I tell you that improving your overall health or your oral health is the best way to improve your overall health? When I was at MIT, I conducted extensive research in the intersection of AI, healthcare, and oral health. And what became more and more clear is that oral diseases are highly correlated and to some extent even caused most significant health diseases such as hypertension, diabetes, or early onset dementia. For instance, if you have periodontal disease, so recession of your gums, is very likely to 30 to 70 percent that you have also high blood pressure. It's extremely important to identify these dental diseases early on and intervene early on to reduce your overall health risks. So dental health is healthcare. But if you look right now to the left and to the right of your neighbor, then I can tell you that half of you have an undiagnosed and untreated cavity and two-thirds of us here in the room have periodontal disease, which actually has this correlation to hypertension. So we all seem young, uh, but we are not as healthy as we might think. But I do want, want to scare you. In fact, I actually want to show you that the particular domain of dentistry, as well as the revolution of AI, together will improve our overall health significantly. First, dentistry. Dentists are not only dentists. They are primary care physicians, they are surgeons, they are radiologists, and overall, they are business owners. And they continuously get scolded for being inaccurate. There's a famous Reader's Digest study which shows that if you go to 50 dentists, you will get 50 different opinions, diagnoses, and treatment plans. And many of us have made experiences in that. And so that doesn't necessarily increase the trust in it. But it's not that they're incompetent. It has much more to do with one of the major diagnostic tools in dentistry, which are these old-fashioned, gray-scaled x-rays. And a quick Google search shows that an x-ray can have 64,000 shades of gray, and our eyes can actually identify 900 of those. Secondly, dentists, different than almost every other healthcare profession, they work in isolation. They're alone. They do the diagnosis and the treatment plan by themselves. And third, they constantly context switch from all these four different jobs. So it's extremely hard for them to actually, every day and every hour of the day, to have the top performance. So at this point, you might not be surprised that dentistry is actually one of the highest diagnostic errors in healthcare. So what does that mean, though, for you? That means that if you go to the dentist, they might take an x-ray, such as this one. And on a first glimpse, it looks healthy. And on a second glimpse, she or he, the dentist, might identify these two regions of concern, which might be able to fix by getting a simple filling. And again, it is extremely important to get these fillings early on to stop the progression of disease which then can lead to more significant treatments, such as root canals, and then also to more significant health risks, such as diabetes and hypertension. But in a hectic day, while the dentist might identify these areas of concern, he or she might also miss all of these. And so that doesn't help anyone, right? But there's hope. Dentists are data-driven. They are technology enthusiasts, and they constantly want to improve. In fact, they have shown this in the past decades with two major revolutions. One is digital radiography. So that is new digital sensors, which already significantly improved to identify diseases earlier. The second one are intraoral sensors. Intraoral cameras enable the patient to see what's going on in their mouth, and increases the trust between the dentist and the patient. 
And now, dentistry is ready for the third revolution, which is artificial intelligence, which in fact will actually increase accuracy as well as the trust between dentists and patients. But before diving into this, let's look into AI in healthcare in general. So AI in healthcare has been around for a long time, and to be honest, often overhyped. There have been numerous reports which said, oh, the end of radiology is there, and radiologists will not find a job going forward. Well, I checked last week, and right now, the median salary for radiologists is $300,000, and there are over 9% increase of job openings. So to me, they seem to do fine. So why is it that the AI adoption in healthcare takes much longer than we predicted? Well, there are numerous reasons, but three of them are the following. First, radiologists are not really incentivized to adopt AI. In the end, they are compensated by reading x-rays. Second, they're actually pretty good at what they're doing. They work with other radiologists and every day have what they call a radiology conference where they go over the most difficult cases. They have, so to say, a peer-reviewed feedback loop and constantly improve. And the third aspect is that also the technology, AI, had its challenges. It is hard to obtain data in healthcare, and thus algorithms which have been built mainly on isolated data sets, such as at Stanford universities, when deployed here across the bridge at Harvard Medical School, they all of a sudden dropped in accuracy by over 20%. So that had a huge issue in terms of fairness and generalizability of AI. In dentistry, that is quite different. Dentists do not get paid for reading radiographs, but instead they get paid for doing the appropriate treatment at the right time. Secondly, they work in isolation. For them, having an assisted AI tool would actually make all the sense in the world to improve over time. And third, my company, Video Health, was able to build our AI algorithms not on one isolated data set, but instead using data from hundreds of dentists across the United States. That enables us actually to build the most fair and generalizable algorithms in healthcare. So let's put this to the test, right? How can we compare the adoption of AI in healthcare and dentistry? And one tool we can use is the Gardner hype cycle. Gardner is a company which dedicated its research to understanding how innovative technologies get adopted by the market. And now every technology, let it be autonomous driving, or AI in dentistry or radiology goes through this hype cycle. From an initial hype to high expectations to a valley of disillusionment to then the actual adoption in production. And what you can see here in the red box is that computer vision and AI in radiology is close before actually getting adopted. The thing though is that it took AI and radiology over 10 years to go from the beginning of the hype cycle, not even close to the adoption. What I've experienced in the last three, three years since founding Video Health, that dentistry blasted through the hype cycle in the last three years. So again, what took AI and radiology over 10 years, we are already after three years at the same point. And this is also why extrapolating this to the future, the AI revolution will be led by dentistry. So what does that actually mean for your next dental visit, which you should go to? <laughs> it means that your dentist will be powered by AI, and instead of getting 10 different diagnoses and treatment plans, you will obtain a much more accurate treatment plan and diagnosis much earlier. In fact, we can show this that in our FDA studies, we were able to reduce the missed cavities by 43%, while at the same time reduce the error by an additional 15%. So what does that mean for the future? The future, envision a world where you go to the dentist and all major diseases, such as cavities, restorative disease, periodontal disease, endodontic diseases, such as root canals, will be powered by AI, identified much more accurately, and also much earlier. One of our studies have actually shown that we can identify cavities five years before the dentist identifies the cavity. Imagine a future where 
the AI not only shows you what you have right now, but also predicts into the future what happens if you get treatment A, B, or C. Imagine a future where you go to the dentist not only because of cosmetic reasons or because it's something we do every six months, but instead you see an opportunity to increase your overall health and reduce the risks of hypertension, diabetes, and even Alzheimer. AI and dentistry will not only increase your oral health, but also reduce the overall health burden of society. And since dentistry is such ingrained in our everyday life, this technology will enable to support and improve the health of hundreds of millions of patients in the US and billions globally. Thank you.